we're helping you find motivation in different areas of life, including ways to manage your stress and anxiety. Suffering from trauma can leave your body in a constant state of stress. It's what happened to our next guest. The pictures you'll see coming up are graphic, so please be advised. This is the accident scene where our next guest was run over three times while trying to cross the street to meet her husband. Now she's out with a new book, The Unexpected Benefits of Being Run Over, and hopes to help others overcome PTSD and trauma. Joining us now to talk about survival and resilience is Nassim Rochette. Nassim, welcome to Bloom. Thank you. So first of all, I'm, I'm glad you're okay. I know it's been a long, long journey for you. Tell me about the accident. Well, um, it's a little bit of a crazy story. Five years ago, I was in a pedestrian crosswalk crossing the street to my husband when a car turned, an SUV, and hit me. The car then initially stopped. I was still standing. I thought I was fine. But then the car accelerated and drove over me, reversed over me, and then went forward over me a third time, um, and I was pinned underneath the car. Oh, my goodness. So then... What happened next? I mean, you went from standing thinking you're okay. Yeah. It, did you ever figure out why he did that? Uh, it, the driver was a woman, and oh. n you know the driver actually never apologized or, or spoke to us. So, I have theories that I talk about in the book, but no, I don't actually know why she did what she did. But for me, you know, that that moment was almost 20 minutes of you know internal dialogue with myself, reflecting on my life you know, my kids kind of, you know, saying goodbye because I could hear in my husband's voice that I was dying. Yeah, and, uh, and we're looking at some pictures right now. We can see the extent of your injuries. Um, and so not only was this a, a physical journey, but obviously having something like this so unexpected happen yeah. to you would leave you with PTSD and, you know, a mental health journey. Yeah. And, and that was actually the really hard, that is the really hard part of the journey. So, you know, I had uh, worked you know, so hard in my life to get to a place where I was juggling family and work and felt so in control of everything. And then that moment took all of that away. And I had to kind of relearn how to live. I had to think about the fact that the accident didn't just happen to me. It happened to everyone that loved me as well. And so I went from being someone that never wanted to accept help to recognizing that I needed to ha accept help because other people needed to help me. And part of that was acknowledging that I just couldn't think my way out of everything. You know, that, that PTSD is real and that it is not, you know, something I could just say, hey, you know what, I've got two master's degrees, I know how to solve complex problems, and, you know, I'll just figure my way out of this. You know, I had to learn to be kind to myself, which was a new skill. So I think it's really remarkable that you go through this journey, and you did go, I mean, you were on, you needed help, assistance walking. Um, you know, I know your child wrote you a heartfelt letter about wanting to be there for you, um, you can see it there. I think every mom um, or parent that receives a letter like this, um, you, you save it forever, you tuck it away and, and, and it sticks with you. But even, like you said, it impacted every part of your life, including your child. Yeah, you know, I, uh, in fact, actually, when my children talk about some of those early days, they, they still cry because the mother that they had seen in control was lost for a little while. You know, and, and even now, the way I think and act or handle chaos is different, but I have realized that's okay. You know, we, we control our narrative. And um, in fact, you know, I brought you this hat here, Unbreakable. I love it. Because Thank you. Because we actually made the decision that the day of my accident was not going to be a sad story. We weren't going to think about the things that happened, the changes, the ways that I was impacted negatively we were gonna think about the fact that I survived and celebrate it as a holiday, unbreakable day. And, you know, because we get to write our own narrative, you know, I get to look at my brain injuries or my, t you know, my PTSD or my physical ailments as just part of my journey. Yeah, 
so you wrote the book, which I think is so beautiful to help other people because, you know, not many people are going to have the this, this crazy story of being run over three times by the same person and never knowing why, never getting an apology. But people go through trauma. They go through hurt that leaves them paralyzed, leave with PTSD, with emotional pain. And your hope is that your story can help others. Absolutely. Um, in fact, you know, one of the things that I learned and, and one of the most re rewarding parts of writing this book is getting to talk to people because once I share my journey and my cracks, everybody opens up. People open up and they want to connect on that level, that deeper, you know, more honest truth that we all share that nobody we're all perfectly imperfect it's so true and i think when you start when you're you know kimono wide open <laughs> it makes you more vulnerable but it makes you also more authentic and yeah. real you are spot on yeah well i have to tell you this uh, is an incredible story um anything else any other takeaways that you want uh, readers to learn from the unexpected benefits of being run over you know, I, I think what I, I will stress, um, you know, what I had, had said earlier is that we control our narrative, you know, and here on the cover, I actually have these gold lines. For me, the philosophy of Kintsugi and taking a broken piece of pottery and putting it back together with a gold inlay and celebrating those cracks mm -hmm. was really kind of life changing for me because it gave me a way to talk about my journey without being a victim. And so I think if there's anything I want people to take away, it's remember we've all gone through difficult journeys. We've all had unbreakable days, but we control our narrative on how we interpret that. Nassim, uh, what a pleasure it is to meet you. I can't thank you enough for taking time to come visit us here at Bloom. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. 